somebody invented the zone defense and won a championship. And now most everybody uses it with the same idea in mind. And what the advent of the zone has done is cut down the likelihood of the breakaway run, among other things. Well, this week's feature concerns one of the greatest breakaway runners of all time. I know I missed him a few times myself. San Francisco's Hugh McElhenney. Take a good look at him because he's one of a vanishing breed. This is Hugh McElhenney at the Los Angeles Coliseum where the San Francisco 49ers are... Just about everything that's happened on a, on a football field, I've experienced it. And as an announcer, I try to express the feelings of the individual ball players. If it was a, a fumble, I try to tell the people what it feels like to fumble in that particular situation. Trying to correct his mishap of last week and really cradling that ball, uh, this is really heartbreaking. And Hugh McElhenney has Jimmy been Thomas involved with the world of football all of his life. He's a radio commentator for the San Francisco 49ers now because he likes it. He played halfback for them because he loved it. He now watches the game he once ruled. For during the 50s, Hugh McElhenney was not just the best. He was the king. Running with a football is, is a sense. Uh, after the ball is snapped and you get the ball, you're really not thinking. You're just kind of reacting. And you go to an area, but you react from that point. I was never an individual that liked to, or appreciated body contact, so I always tried to avoid it as much as I could. And maybe that was the reason that I ran the, the way I did. considered myself that great a football player to be in the Hall of Fame. And uh, when I was enshrined and Lou Spadia stood up before the audience on the steps of the Hall of Fame and talked about my character and not my statistics, this moved me tremendously and made it very difficult for me to do it, really express myself.
my wife and my children accept this honor as I do. I know that I'm a very emotional person, but this was really the greatest moment in my life.